hi guys welcome back to another video today i'm gonna do a resin art using art resin and with these beautiful bronze colored waste fillers the colors that i will be adding in the epoxy resin are the abstract iridescent bronze which is similar to the color of this waste fillers liquitex ivory black folk art color shift emerald flash and testers metallic gold this testers paint was initially designed to model aircrafts but i'll be using here to create some interesting 3d effects and i will be adding this extra fine black glitters to the resin and some emerald color glass glitters over the canvas so let's begin the fun I have prepped the canvas by sticking duct tape on the back and applied push pins on the corners. I am applying this bronze paint to the borders using a paintbrush. I have painted this design on the front and will be adding the waste filler over that area. Now I am covering the remaining area with the color shift emerald green. The reason I am painting the canvas is that I want to add a very thin layer of epoxy resin later and the remaining color will be seen in some areas over the translucent resin. I have colored the whole canvas with the borders. I am using this Elmer's clear glue to stick the waste fillers on the borders.
using a separate brush to spread the glue. This work requires a little patience, it's a bit more time consuming. Once I place all these stones on the borders, the entire art will stand out and look more appealing to the eyes. Pressing the stones against the canvas to make sure they stick well. I have covered all the borders with the waste fillers. They look very bright and the color exactly matches the bronze paint. I am using these coffee cup lids, just pile them up making sure they are touching the center of the canvas. This will not let the resin to paddle up at the center of the canvas. Here I am arranging the waste fillers on the design. I am arranging them before pouring the resin because in this way I can adjust them quickly and make any corrections. It's also less messy.
I am adding a few stones here at the tip of the design. Now that the canvas is ready, I am pouring the resin in the measuring cup. I usually pour the resin and the hardener in the same container. Dispensing the hardener as the same amount as the resin. I am mixing it well as per the manufacturer's instructions, slowly in the circular motion, making sure the stick touches the base and the entire length of the walls of the cup. I am mixing the resin for full 3 minutes. Meanwhile, according to my statistics, it takes less than 3 seconds to hit the subscribe button. So please, do it as it helps me a lot. For your convenience, you can hit the cute square button on the bottom right side of your screen. Thank you. I am using these small cups to pour the mixed resin and add colors. These are 5 cups for ivory black, translucent black, emerald green, bronze and metallic gold. I am keeping in some remaining resin in the cup which I will be adding on the borders of the canvas. In the first cup, I am taking in a small quantity of ivory black and adding a little emerald green color shift. In the second cup, I am adding this green color shift. It looked very translucent to me, so I have added a tiny quantity of Artist Loft Emerald Green. The third cup is entirely of ivory black. In this fourth cup, I am adding the iridescent bronze.
And finally in the last cup I'm adding Tester's Gold. You can see this paint is very thin and richly pigmented. Now some glitter action. Adding these extra fine black glitters in these two cups with every black resin. I am adding these emerald color glitters from this pouch to the green resin cup. One way to tell if the resin is enough pigmented is when you lift the stick with the paint, the stick shouldn't be seen. Pouring a similar color resin over the waste fillers. This green with glitters look very shiny. I wanted to make sure there is at least one very bright color that can lift the entire art against this ivory black and bronze colors. This is the translucent black. And the one I am pouring now is ivory black. I wanted to make sure that one color is more translucent than the other. Also along with the translucency, I wanted it to be a shade matching close to the bronze. Different depth colors help to add more dimensions to the art. I am spreading the resin with the help of the stick. Wow, this color is very shiny.
with the help of the heat gun i am spreading the resin this helps different color to merge and form a beautiful flowing pattern Now I am placing this emerald colored gemstones. Popping up the air bubbles with the blow torch. Lastly, I am pouring in the tester's metallic gold resin with the help of the stick. I want to throw these fine diagonal lines across the canvas and around the waste fillers. This paint lifts in the resin creating a three-dimensional appearance which will be very catchy. I am blowing the metallic gold paint toward the waste fillers with a heat gun. Pouring some clear resin over the borders. Here there is a drop of green resin that fell over the waste filler. So I am cleaning it with a Q-tip, you can see it here.
I'm just trying to be perfect. I am adding some gemstones at the corners. This is the third day of the pour. It takes three days for the art resin to completely cure and it is rock hard to touch. Before the analysis of the art, I want to show you guys how to take off the duct tape from the back of the canvas. It's effortless. Just take off the push pins. They are a little bit hard, so I need to be a little careful. Once you take off the push pins, try just try to pull the duct tape. It's very easy. In certain areas where you can't pull off, where there are these clumps of resin, you just have to use your heat gun and apply heat. Once they are hot, it becomes effortless. Yeah. Look how clean the borders look. I may have to trim this with a knife. Yeah, but they easily came off. Yeah. <laughs> I could achieve the results I was looking for. It's stunning. Let's first look at the colors. These are deep colors, ivory black and iridescent bronze. The translucent color which I got by mixing ivory black and emerald flash. The bright colors emerald green and metallic gold. They provide contrast to other colors. The emerald color gems and the waste fillers are adding matching to these bright colors. The borders look terrific. These are those German green glass glitters that I have sprinkled an hour after spreading the resin on the canvas. I didn't add it before because it will sink to the bottom and the glitters that I have mixed in the resin and these green glass glitters add to the sparkling and shininess of the art. Here is a complete overview. The surface looks very glossy and smooth.
Let me take my art outside and show you how it shines under the sun and reflect the light. I hope you guys loved it. Let me know what you guys think about this art pour in the comment section. I have been getting some suggestions from you guys and I will do those art soon. Thank you guys for subscribing to my channel and liking my videos. If you haven't subscribed yet, do hit the pillow button on the bottom right of your screen and turn on the bell icon for more art forms and relaxing videos like this. See you soon in the next video. Bye!